everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we're doing something we haven't done in a long time. We're going to be making a pony custom. So I have Pinkie Pie here and we are going to transform her into, wait for it, young Granny Smith. So I've always wondered what Granny Smith looks like when she was younger, you know, what her hairstyle was, how her eyes looked. And so I thought it would be really fun if we can make a custom of her when she was young. And the reason why I'm using Pinkie Pie is because she's an earth pony and also because I ran out of Applejack. But uh, since their colors are different, I think we are okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is to remove the hair. Sorry about that, Pinkie Pie. And we're going to remove the tail. Alright. Next, we're going to take off her head. So, okay, here it is. And there is a little plug here that we will need to remove. With an X Acto knife, we're going to cut very, very carefully around the little plug here and take it out. Here comes the plug. And so the reason why we did that is so that my tweezer can go in take out the rest of the stubble of hair. For the bigger ponies, I tend to leave the hair or the little stubble alone. But since these ponies are much smaller and so we won't be using as much clay, we want to remove as much of the hair as we can. And so I'm just going to do is just take them out like this and just pull all of them out as much as I can. If you have some long nose pliers, these also work very well since they're a little bit stronger. And here is Pinkie Pie with a bald head. Next, taking a little bit of glue, let's put her head back on. To make the mane and tail, we're going to use some oven baked clay. I have some yellow and we're going to mix it with white to make it light yellow. Here on the back, we're going to add a small rectangular strip of hair. We're going to make the hair heart-shaped in the front. For the braids, I'm going to take my clay extruder and extrude a long strand of clay. Then we're going to separate it into three pieces and braid it. Once the braid is complete, we'll cut it in half and attach it to the back of her head. Then, taking a small round piece, we will slice up the bottom and attach it to the end of each braid. On the very bottom, we're going to add a red hair tie. We're going to do the same thing with a tail except we'll be using thicker strands of clay. Taking the braid, we're going to fit it to the back of the pony. I have a piece of craft stick to hold the tail. Now we can trim the tail to the right length. Then, using small pieces of clay, we're going to make small tufts of hair and attach it to the end of the tail. And to finish it, we'll add a red hair tie. Now, using my heat tool, we're going to pre-harden the clay. Once the hair is hardened, we can take it off the pony. So here are the three pieces of hair. We have the tail, we have the back mane, and the front mane. Now, the next thing we're going to do is paint the pony. For the color, I'm going to mix light green with white. 
We're going to paint the entire pony including the eyes. Now we'll paint the eyes. We're going to start with the whites of the eyes. Then the orange irises. Using black, we're going to line the eyes and add lashes. We'll also use black to paint the pupils. And finally, add two white dots. Let's do the same to the other eye. And finally, we're going to paint Granny Smith's cutie mark, which is the pie. Alright everyone, and we are done! So here is young Granny Smith. What do you think? Do you like her? So she was a lot of fun to make. She has big eyes, light yellow hair that's tied up in two braids coming down her shoulders and she also has a very thick braided tail. Over here on the back we also have her cutie mark which is a pie. So one thing I was curious about is what is Granny Smith's real name? Before she became a granny, what did her friends call her? Do you know the answer? If you do, let me know down below in the comment section. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!